Hello, my Yarny friends. I'm Sarah Satch, and welcome or welcome back to my crochet channel. Today's video is our this or that video. And what that means is I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to give you a couple of answers, and you can comment down in the notes underneath the video in that comment section the answer to the question. Now, this will help me a lot because this will help me in knowing what you're looking for to crochet or what you want to try. Because it's always fun to try new techniques and new ways of doing things. There'll be questions about yarn, crochet, and lots of other things that we like to do. <laughs> Alrighty, so today's question has to do with beads. And you'll notice I'm wearing this shirt where I added a collar to just a regular t-shirt and then finished off with some beads. There are lots of different crochet projects that you can add beads to. For instance, this is a awareness ribbon where we added some beads to the top and to the center. You can crochet necklaces. These are just inexpensive pearls. Here's some nice big wooden beads we crocheted into a necklace. You can make braided beads. This makes a nice hat band, headband, or necklace. Here's a bracelet that's one of my favorites where we used wooden beads and put the word yarn on there. And also another one of my favorites is this headband that we made. I call this the boho headband because it's made with just a beige yarn. I wanted it to kind of look like, you know, straw or raffia or something like that. And then we added wooden beads. And so you can add beads to lots of different things in crochet. There are several ways of adding beads. You can add them at the beginning, you can add them through the middle, or when you're all done, you can sew them on. So there's lots of different ways that beads can be added to crochet. So the question for today is, do you like projects that add beads to your projects? This one, was stitched in acrylic and I mentioned that because it has wooden beads I probably wouldn't throw it in the wash. I'll probably try to just if something gets on it hand wash it and then lay it out to dry. This one with these wooden beads is cotton and I would probably do the same thing with this bracelet. Maybe I spilled some coffee on it or something and I just might want to just spot wash that and lay it out. So whether it's acrylic or cotton, you just need to be careful and consider the beads that you use. These are wooden beads, these are wooden beads. The beads on this is plastic or acrylic, just like the yarn is acrylic. I would probably go ahead and just toss this in with some of my gentle things. These beads on this necklace are wooden and the beads on this one are plastic. This is cotton yarn this is acrylic yarn. So you need to consider when you're adding beads to your crochet projects, how you're going to wash those things. This one I did wash the other day. I um, had been wearing this and I spilt Dr. Pepper on it. And so I, what I did when I got home is I just took a little bowl, put a little tiny bit of Dawn dishwasher uh, soap in the bowl, made a little foaminess, put the necklace in there and moved it around. Then I dumped it out because I did this before the Dr. Pepper got dry or the diet Dr. Pepper got dry. And then I did a rinse on it and then I just laid it out on a towel. The next morning it was dry. And so you can do those sorts of things as well. But that is something to consider when you're adding beads to your project. What kind of beads are you adding and what a kind of yarn that you're using, and how am I going to wash them? Like this shirt that I am wearing, it is 100% cotton. The cotton that I use to make the collar is 100% cotton, but I do have plastic beads attached. And so I probably won't just throw this in with my regular laundry. 
When it gets dirty, I'll just put it in on a gentle cycle. I might add a few other things with it that need to be washed as well on a gentle cycle. And then I'll put it in the dryer for a little bit. But we have to remember, these are plastic beads. And so I'll, I'll put it in the dryer long enough to get the drippy wetness out of it. And then I'll put it on the dryer. Or I might just hang it up on a hanger and leave it in the laundry room so that it can get dry. And so those are things we have to consider when we're adding beads to our crochet projects. Another place you can add beads is to bags. Just add them at his little extra plus on here. And keep in mind, they're going to need to be washed. And so what kind of beads can we use, right? You can use any kind of beads. I've got some examples here of beads that I like to use. Here's your pony beads. I love these. They have these in two sizes, smaller, and then this is your basic size. These are pearls. I just picked these up at the Dollar Tree. The key to knowing if you can use a kind of bead is if you can get your needle through the bead with the yarn on it, depending on the thickness of the yarn you're using. That's pearl beads. And then another kind of bead is, of course, wooden beads. And these are wooden, all different colors. And so you can use pretty much glass, um, any kind of beads that you have. You just need to consider what you're putting it on and how you're going to wash it. And so the question for today for our this or that is, do you like projects that we can add beads to? Yes or no? And also, do you have some suggestions? Maybe belts. I have put beads on belts hats, shirts, all kinds of things, and maybe you have some suggestions that you would like to see some beads added to. Another thing is, if you have a crochet or yarn, yarny related question that you would like answered, go ahead and put that question down in those comments as well, and I will do my very best to find you an answer. If I don't know the answer, I'll try to find you one. Oh, and all the links for the things that I have showed you, I'll put down in that description box underneath so you can put a collar on or maybe make a headband or some of our other things with beads. All right, well, thank you for being with me today. I love adding beads to projects, and I hope that you do too. I just think we can put them on everything. <laughs> See you next time for another edition of This or That. <laughs>